Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Put, put God, God first. first. Put God put first God in first everything, in everything you, do. you do. I've been protected. I've been directed. I've been corrected. I've kept God in my life and has kept me humble. I didn't always stick with him, but he always stuck with me. So stick with him in everything you do. If you think you want to do what you think I've done, then do what I've done and stick with God. Number two, number two, number two, fail big. That's right, that's right. Fail big. Today's the beginning of the rest of your life, and it's going to be very frightening. It's a new world out there, it's a mean world out there. You only live once. So do what you feel passionate about, passionate about. Take chances, professionally. Don't be afraid to fail. There's an old IQ test was nine dots, and you had to draw five lines with a pencil within these nine dots without lifting the pencil. The only way to do it was to go outside the box. So don't be afraid to go outside the box. Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid to fail big, to dream big. But remember, dreams without goals are just dreams. I try to give myself a goal every day. Sometimes it's time just to not just to not curse somebody out. <laughs> Simple goals, but have goals. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. Consistency every day. I just want Tuesday and this a few days. You have to work at it. Every day, you have to plan. Every day. You heard the saying, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. And in this text, tweet, twerk world that you've grown up in, Remember, just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. Don't confuse movement with progress. My mother told me, she said, yeah, because you can run in place all the time and never get anywhere. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. You'll never see You'll a never U-Haul, see U-Haul behind a hearse. Behind a hearse. Behind a hearse. I'll, say I'll say it again. You'll never You'll see never a U-Haul, U-Haul behind, a hearse. behind a hearse. I don't care how yeah, much money you make, money you, make you, you can't take it with you. With you. The Egyptians the tried it. Tried it. They, got they got robbed. That's all they got. That's all they got. All they got. You can't take you it can't with you. And it's not how much you have. It's what you do with what you have. We all have different talents. Some of you will be doctors, some lawyers, some scientists, some educators, some nurses, some teachers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> some preachers. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Well, one or two things, but nothing's better than that. Not, not jewelry, not big house I have, not the cars, but the, 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 it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is in helping others. Finally, finally, finally. I pray that you put your slippers way under the bed tonight so that when you wake up in the morning, you have to get on your knees to reach them. And while you're down there, say thank you. 
for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. It's how I live my life. That's why I, why I am one of the reasons why I am today. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Here we go. Once again, the man's back. Coming at ya. Once again, 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 once again, the man's back. <laughs> And with the food of his staff, once again the man's back, packing all the flavors you need. So once, once again the man's back. And if you don't know, now you know. Nigga, all the party people say go, the man with the giving gift. All the party people say go, it's unbelievable. All the party people say go. Incorrectly, come on, everybody. Let's come all get down with, with that bang shit that keep you live all night. All night all come on, night. everybody. Let's come all get down with J.U. When I was a number one, <laughs> motherfuckers know who's the best. The best. The I'm best. gonna break it down so you can see. I'll leave a froze like hair on in your nose. Your nose your I'm nose. gonna break it down so you can see. I got that neck knot nah, shit that makes you work your neck. I'm neck. gonna break it down so you can see. What you need? This type of shit. This type of shit. Got you all in check. 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 Okay, party people in the house. 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 Let's take it back to the old school. 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 What kind of girl do you think I am? It's just too soon. Can't you understand?
any romance Most girls don't even bother But the way she fills out her pants Said thank you no to her father Ayo, free you on the Listen to my man DJ Juice on his mixtapes. I, 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 I.
see the arc. You can see the arc in that uh in that metal. So what I did is I threw basically a, a strap every four feet. And then I threw straps through here. Three straps over that platform to make sure that that's locked down. You can see it, right? Actually, and then one strap over here. I'll show you the other side too. It's all strapped. We're at Randall's Island, this load is going to Wisconsin. So as you can see, did one, two, three, four straps through here to keep that bottom. I want to keep that bottom where it's at. All that metal, to me, all that metal is, to me, metal is just slippery. I don't care what you do with it. You gotta be careful going down the road because uh, there's really no way that I can secure all of this PC stuff from the front. So I just need to be careful. I strapped it down pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's get to it. Icon Stadium. That's where I'm at. Skip the flattery, the flattery and the attaboys, because I do know this. The sooner that we become less impressed with our life, with our accomplishments, with our career, with whatever that prospect is in front of us, the sooner we become less impressed and more involved with that and these things, the sooner we get a whole lot better at doing it. So, so, I'm going to talk to you about some, you about things, some things I've learned in my journey. My journey. Most, Most from experience, some of them I heard in passing. Heard passing. Many of them I'm many still them practicing, but all of them I do believe are true. Are true. Now, they may be now, they may truths, be truths to, me, to me, but don't think that, don't that, think that, that makes that them mine, mine, because you cannot own a truth. So please think of these as signposts, approaches, paradigms, that give some science to satisfaction. They're yours to steal, they're yours to share, like into your own lives, to personally apply in your own lives, in your own way, should you choose to. So, here we go. Number one, life's not easy. Life is not easy. It is not. Don't try to make it that way. Life's not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap, of feeling like you're a victim. You are not. You are not. Get over it. Get, get over on it. Get on. And yes, and yes, most things are more rewarding are more when you break a sweat break to get them. Number two. Number two. <laughs> Unbelievable, Unbelievable. Unbelievable is the stupidest is word the dictionary. Word should never come out of our mouth. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. To say, to oh, say, wow, what an oh, unbelievable, wow, what unbelievable play. play. Uh, it was an unbelievable, unbelievable book, an unbelievable, unbelievable film, an unbelievable, unbelievable act of courage. Act of courage. Really? 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 It, it may be it spectacular, it may be, it may be phenomenal, phenomenal, most excellent or outstanding, but unbelievable? But unbelievable. 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 Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Give others, Give others and yourself, and yourself more, credit. more credit. It just happened. You, just you witnessed it. it. You just you did it. Just Believe it. it. Believe it. Believe it. What about the other about side the other of unbelievable? Side of unbelievable. You, know, that, you know that side that when that we, side humans we humans underperform or act out, out of our best character. Our character. For instance, For man, man flies a suicide jet into the World Trade Center. Millions die from diseases every day that we have cures for. Bob the Builder swears that he's going to have your house built by Thanksgiving and you can't move it until Christmas the next year. Our best friends lied to us and we lie to ourselves all the time. Unbelievable? I don't think so. Again, it just happens and it happens every day. Nothing that we homo sapien earthlings do is unbelievable. And if there's one thing you can depend on people being, it's people. So we shouldn't be so surprised. We, we, us, us, are the trickiest are mammals walking the planet. planet. I'm, not I'm not worried about the monkeys. About the I'm worried about you and me. You and me. You and me. <laughs> so acknowledge so the acts acts of greatness as greatness real, as real, real and, do and do not be naive, naive about, about mankind's, mankind's capacity for evil, evil, nor be in denial of our own shortcomings. 
Happiness is an emotional response to an outcome. If I win, I will be happy. If I don't, I won't. It's an if then, cause and effect, quid pro quo, standard that we cannot sustain because we immediately raise it every time we attain it. See, happiness, happiness demands a certain outcome. It is result reliant. And I say if happiness is what you're after, then you're going to be let down frequently, and you're going to be unhappy much of your time. Joy, though. Joy is a different thing. It's something else. Joy is not a choice. It's not a response to some result. It's a constant. Joy is the feeling that we have from doing what we are fashioned to do, no matter the outcome. Now, personally, now personally, as an actor, yeah, as an actor I, started I started enjoying my work, my work and, and literally and being literally more happy when I stopped when trying, I stopped to, trying make to make the daily labor, labor, labor a, means a means to a certain, to certain end. end. For example, For example uh, I need uh, this I film need to be a box office box success. Box success. Box you know, I need my performance to be acknowledged. I need the respect of my peers. All those are reasonable aspirations, but the truth is, as soon as the work, the daily making of the movie, the doing of the deed became the reward in itself for me. I got more box office, more accolades and respect than I ever had before. See, joy is always in process. It's under construction. It is in constant approach. Alive and well in the doing of what we're fashioned to do. And enjoying. Number four. Define success for yourself. Define success for yourself. Now check this out. I'm in uh, south of New Orleans uh, a few years ago, and I went to a voodoo shop. Uh, and they had this, this, this wooden partition against the wall, these columns. And, and in these columns were all these vials of these magic potions, right? And the headings above each potion defining what they would give you were things like fertility, health, health. Uh, family, family, legal health, legal health, legal health legal energy, 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 forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness money, 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 <laughs> money, money. Guess which column Guess was which empty? Column was empty. Money. 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 Let's admit it. Money is king today. today. It's what makes the world make makes world, the world go round. It round. is success. success. The more we have, the more successful we are. Right? 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 Now I would argue that argue our that cultural our values, values, values have even, have even been financialized. Been financialized. Uh, humility is not the anymore. anymore. It's too passive. It's, too passive. it's, too passive. it's, too passive. it's a get it's rich quick, quick on the quick internet, internet riches 15, 15 minutes of fame world that we live in, and we see it every day. But we all want to succeed, right? So the question that we've got to ask ourselves is what success is to us, what success is to you. Is it more money? More money? It's fine. I got nothing against money. I don't. Maybe it's a Maybe healthy, it's family. A healthy family. family. Maybe it's a happy Maybe marriage. Happy Maybe it's marriage. to help Maybe others, to be famous, to be spiritually, be spiritually sound, sound. sound. Leave to leave the world a little bit better place than you found it. Continue to ask to yourself ask that, yourself question. that question. question. Now, your answer may your change answer over may time, change and that's fine. fine. But do yourself do this favor. Whatever your answer is, don't choose anything that will jeopardize yourself. Prioritize who you are, who you want to be, and don't spend time with anything that antagonizes your character. Don't drink the Kool-Aid, man. It tastes sweet, but you will get cavities tomorrow. All right? Life is not a popularity contest. Be brave, take the hill, but first answer that question, what's my hill? So, so me, how do, me I how, do I how do I define success for me, myself? Well, for me, it's a measurement of, of five things. We got fatherhood. We got being a good husband. We got my health, mind, body, and spirit. We got career, and we got friendship. These are what's important to me in my life right now. So I try to measure these five things each day. I check in with them. I like to see whether or not I'm in the, uh, the, the debit section or the credit section at each point. Am I in the, in the red or am I in the black? Black. Black. You follow? Black. 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 For instance, sometimes say my career is rolling. All right, it's way up here in the black, but I see how my relationship with my wife maybe could use a little bit more of my attention. I got to pick up the slack on being a better husband. Get that one out of the red. Or say my spiritual health could use some maintenance. It's down here, but hey, man, my friendships and my social life, they're in high gear. Right? 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 I got to recalibrate. Gotta recalibrate. Gotta recalibrate. Checks and balances. Check I got to go to church. Go to Remember to say thank you more often. Something. 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 But I got to take the tally. 
because I want to keep all five in healthy shape. And I know that if I don't take care of them, if I don't keep up maintenance on them, one of them is going to get weak, man. It's going to dip too deep into the debit section. It's going to go bankrupt. It's going to get sick. Die. So first, we have to define success for ourselves. And then, we have to put in the work to maintain it. Take that daily tally. Tend our garden. Keep the things that are important to us in good shape. I mean, let, let, let's admit it. We've all got two wolves in the suit. A good one and a bad one. And they both want to eat. Best I can tell, we just got to feed that good one a little more than the other one. Here we go. Here Number we go. five. Number five. Number five. Process of elimination <laughs> is the first step to our identity, a.k.a. where you are not is as important as where you are. All right, 1992, I got my first job as an actor. Three lines, three days work, and a film called Dazed and Confused. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. There we go. So this director of that film, Richard Linkletter, he kept inviting me back to set each night, putting me in more scenes, which led to more lines, all of which I happily said yes to. I mean, I'm having a blast. People are telling me I'm good at what I'm doing, and they're writing me a check for $325 a day. I mean, hell yeah, give me more scenes. I love what I'm doing. Well, by the end of the shoot, by the end of the film, those three lines had turned into over three weeks' work, and it was mine. It was Wooderson's 1970 Chevelle that we went to go get Aerosmith tickets in. Yeah, it was badass. Bad bad <laughs> well, well, a few years ago, years ago I'm watching, watching this film again. Film again, and, film again. And, and I noticed, I noticed two I noticed scenes, scenes that I really should have really been, been, been in. In one of these in scenes, these scenes, scenes my, my character Wooderson, I, 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 I exit screen I left to head, head somewhere. somewhere. And then I re-enter the screen and double check if any of the other characters wanted to go with me. Now, in rewatching the film, and you'll agree if you know Wooderson, Wooderson's not a guy who would ever say, later, and then come back to see if you were sure you didn't want to go. Now, when Wooderson leaves, Wooderson is gone. He does not stutter, step, flinch, rewind, ask twice, or solicit. You know what I'm talking about. Wooderson, there's better things to do, like liking those high school girls, man. Because I get older, and they stay the same age. The point is, I should not have been in that scene. Shouldn't have come back. Shouldn't have come back. Shouldn't have come back. Shouldn't have come back. Shouldn't have Should have exited screen, screen left, left, screen left screen and never come back. Never come back. Never but back then, back making my first making film, my first film, getting invited back to the set, cashing that check, check and having a ball. I wanted more I screen time. time. I wanted to be wanted in the scene longer and more and come back into the scene, right? But I shouldn't have been there. Wooderson shouldn't have been there. It is just as important where we are not as it is where we are. Look, the first, Look, the first step, step that, leads that leads to our identity, to our identity in life, 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 life is usually, usually not. not. I, know I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. the first step. The first step's usually, I know who I am not. Process of elimination. Defining ourselves by what we are not is the first step that leads us to really knowing who we are. Who we are. Who we are. You know that group of friends that you hang out with that it really might not bring out the best in you? You know, they, they gossip too much, or kind of shady. They really aren't going to be there for you in a pinch. Or how about that bar that we keep going to that we always seem to have the worst angle from? Or that computer screen, right? That computer screen that keeps giving us an excuse not to get out of the house and engage with the world and get some real human interaction. Or how about that food about that, that we keep eating? Stuff that tastes so good, tastes going, so good down, going down, it makes, down, it makes us feel like crap feel like the next crap week. week. We feel lethargic and we keep putting on weight. Well, those people, well, those, people those, those places, those, those things, 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 stop giving them stop your giving time, them and energy. time and energy. Just don't go there. I mean, put them down. And when you do this, when you do put them down, when you quit going there, and you quit giving them your time, you inadvertently find yourself spending more time and in more places 
that are healthy that are for you, for that bring you, that you bring more you joy. joy. Why? Why? Because, because you just eliminated the who's, the where's, the what's, and the, the, what's and the when's that were keeping you from your identity. Look, trust me, too many options. I promise you, too many options will make a tyrant of us all. All right, so get rid of the excess, the wasted time. Decrease your options. And if you do this, you will have accidentally almost innocent, almost innocent, almost put in front of you what is important to me by process, by process of elimination. elimination. Knowing who we are is hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. So give yourself a give break. Yourself a break. Eliminate, Eliminate who you are not, you are not first, 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 and you're going to find yourself where you need to be. Number six. Number six. Number six. Don't leave Don't crumbs, leave crumbs. <laughs> and the beauty and the of beauty delayed, of gratification. delayed gratification. So what are crumbs? So what are crumbs? Well, the crumbs, I'm, crumbs talking I'm, talking I'm talking about are the choices that we make that make, that make us have to look over our shoulder in the future. You didn't pay you didn't that pay guy that back guy the money that you money owed him, and tonight you just saw him three rows behind you. Shit. You slept around you slept on your spouse, and you spouse, just found out that tomorrow, that tomorrow she, she and the lady and you're having an affair with, with are going to be at the same PTA, PTA meeting. meeting. Shit again. Shit again. Shit again. Shit again. You drank too much drank last too night, much last and you're too hung over to drive your to son to his 8 a.m. Saturday morning baseball practice. These are the crumbs. They come in the form of regret, guilt, guilt. And remorse. and remorse. You leave crumbs leave today, crumbs they will today, cause you more stress, more stress tomorrow. tomorrow. And they and disallow they you from creating a customized future in which you do which not you do have not to look have over, to look your, over shoulder. your shoulder. So let's flip the script. Flip the script. Flip the script. Instead of creating Instead outcomes creating that take outcomes from, us, from us, let's create let's more create outcomes more that outcomes pay, us pay us back, fill us, back. Fill us, up. Fill us up, keep your keep fire your lit, fire turn you turn on for the most the amount of time in your future. 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 These, are the These are the choices I'm talking about, about. and this is and the this beauty is the of beauty. delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. Delayed gratification. Right, tee yourself up, do yourself a favor, make the choices, the purchases today that pay you back tomorrow. Residuals. In my business, we call it mailbox money. If I do my job well today, and that movie keeps rerunning on TV, five years from now, I'm getting checks in the mailbox. It's a heck of a deal. So whether it's prepping the coffee maker the night before, so all you gotta do is press the button in the morning, or getting ready for the job interview early so you don't have to cram the night before, or choosing not to hook up with that married woman because you know you're gonna feel horrible about it tomorrow, and her husband carries a gun, or, or paying, paying your debts on time, your debt so, that on so that when you do when see you that see guy that three guy rows three back rows tonight, back you don't have to don't hunker have to down in your down seat hoping that he don't see you. Get some ROI. Get some ROI. You know what that is? That is. That is. Return, Return on, on investment. investment. Your investment. You. You. Customize your future. Don't leave crumbs. Number seven. Dissect, Dissect your successes, your successes, your successes, successes, successes and the reciprocity of gratitude. gratitude, 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 gratitude. We, so we so often focus on focus failure, on don't, don't we? We, we study we failure. Study, failure. Study. Obsessed with failure. Obsessed. failure. We, dissect we dissect failure in our failures. We dissect them so much we end up intoxicated with them to the point of disillusion. I mean, when do we write in our diary? Usually when we're depressed. What do we gossip about? We gossip other people's about other flaws and flaws, limitations. limitations. I mean, we can dissect, we can dissect ourselves into self-loathing if we're not careful. Not careful. Not careful. Not careful. I find that most find of the times our obsession with what is wrong just ends up breeding, just ends up breeding more, more wrong, wrong, more failure. More failure. More failure. More failure. Now, the easiest way the to easiest dissect, way dissect success, 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 success is through gratitude. 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 Giving thanks for that which we do have, for what is working, appreciating the simple things we sometimes take for granted. We give thanks for these things, and that gratitude reciprocates, creating more to be thankful for. It's really simple, and it works.